Hi guys, Steve Musar here and today I'm doing the 10 minute challenge. Yesterday I was challenged by a fellow artist on YouTube to do the 10 minute challenge and today, today I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. So without wasting any more time, I'll talk about an artist and I've got a collaboration coming soon with her. I'll talk all about all of that during the video. So without wasting any more time, let's go do this 10 minute challenge. A bit nervous, nervous 10 minutes is not long. but. Let's go see what I'm gonna draw, let's go. So, these are the pens I'll be using. Red, green, blue, black, and yellow. I'll be drawing Nelson Mandela. The yellow and the blue are Dezo brand. Dezo Japan, I'll put a link in the description. Then the red is from Raymond Stationery UK. And this one's from Pilot. Yeah, I've got my what timer set, 10 minutes, it's going to be tough, let's do this. So the person that challenged me to do this 10 minute challenge is the Kirsty Partridge from UK and yeah I've been following her work for a while now, she does this really really good water paint drawings and also prisma colors and pencil colored paints as well time lapse videos and i extremely enjoyed the way she does her backgrounds like when i watched one of the videos and i saw the back i was like wow let me contact this girl let's let's see if we can do a collaboration because these these backgrounds are sick like they're they're, they're good crazy good and yeah we're supposed to be doing a collaboration for the end of the month around the 28th of october Really looking forward to that so you guys can keep a lookout and yeah go check her channel out i'll put a link to her channel in the description so you guys can go check her out make sure you guys subscribe to her channel show her some support and you guys will not be disappointed i'm sure i'm sure of it and yeah this 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 is this is challenging like i'm doing this and i'm like no why did i choose five colors oh 10 minutes not long but I'm just mixing and matching the colors, just trying to basically get a basic outline of the person that I'm drawing, which is Nelson Mandela. And yeah, I'm just going with it. I'm not sure if you guys can see the clock very well, how long I've got, because it's, it's a bit bright. My screen on my phone, I'm hoping you can. But yeah, just mixing and matching the colors. Like I said, I'll put the color, the links in the description to colors where I got them from. Obviously the, the Raymond one you can't get online unless you live in the UK. They only ship in the UK. And Dezo you can get from eBay, that's where I got mine from. And obviously the pilot pens were sent to me by pilot themselves. But um, you can get them online as well. So I get asked a lot what's like what pens do you use, what work pens I get asked that every day. Like there's not a day that goes by and someone doesn't comment on Instagram, or YouTube, Facebook and says what pens you use every day. And I use a lot of pens. So for me to answer that question is not easy. Yeah, I put the what's going the pens that I have in my about on my YouTube channel. And yeah, I have favourites. If they go to me, what's your favourite band of pens? Then I can say, okay, yeah. Dezo, Dezo Japan, and Steadlock. They're my two favorite brands of pens. I, I'm just, I just love them. I think they're awesome. They work very well. And yeah, I'm, I'm really starting to fall, fall in love with Pilot as well. The pens that they send me. These, like normally with the Dezo and Steadlock ones, actually not even Steadlock, the Dezo ones, you need a scrap piece of paper just to get the ink flowing. But with uh, Pilot and Steadlock, the ink just flows straight away like you don't need that scrap piece of paper to get the ink flowing which I like the reason why I like the Dezo ones because the nib's so thin it's like 0.7 so this you can work with a lot and uh, Stedler ones are just point they're one millimeter but yeah they're, they're my two favorite brands and yeah the other ones I just use when I need to I'm not gonna lie doing all these like mixing all these colors is kind of remind me of the Bob Marley joint I did having to blend I think that's the part of the reason why I ended up doing this thinking that I could do it in 10 minutes as you can see here 
taking my time, not rushing nothing. And towards the end, I start panicking because I didn't waste so much time just trying to get the proportions right, messing about with the colours at the beginning. So I'm a little bit of fun. And I look at the clock again and it's telling me I've got like three minutes left. I was like, what? I better get stepping. But yeah, here I'm just trying to use all the colours. No. Just yeah. Mess about. It was fun, I'm more like I enjoyed myself. Uh still didn't think it turned out well, but yeah, mixing the colours. Dezo. Love Dezo, they produce really great pens. And yeah, obviously I get I get asked a lot as well how did have my ink. Like how many pens do I go through in a drawing and stuff? Well, most of these pens last me very long. Like I don't think I'll be buying pens for the next year or so because I have so many but a lot of these pens last them because I don't apply that much pressure so the ink does last me a long time because like last year I bought a pack of 50 black pens at, towards the beginning of the year 2015 and I still have over 30 left so normally when I draw an image one, one black pen can last me at least 10 drawings sometimes less sometimes more depending on how much shadows and stuff is in, within the drawing um, but normally they ask me a solid 10 drawings which is good for a cheap black pen um, yeah practice people practice like I've said it to I've come with a like rep reply to a couple of people telling them try to master the black pen first like if you practice with a black pen and you know how to do all these different types of level of shading like a light all the way to dark and you've got so much control over it then when you convert over into colors and you start using colors you use the same technique and it's so so much easier obviously the reason why I chose these colors is obviously because the flag of uh, South Africa and yeah before I started this I was like yeah I could do this 10 minutes I can I'll be able to blend all these colors and uh, it was a struggle not easy not easy at all but yeah I was kind of happy with the way it turned out doing the lips the green mixing yeah it was fun very challenging probably one of the hardest challenges I've had so far it's not like doing like a Sanjay sketch where I do it for like 15 minutes then five minutes do make a lot of difference in five extra minutes if I had five extra minutes here I could have made this look a bit more tasty but it came out decent and yeah like I said I have my favorite I have my favorite brands of pens however I use a lot of different pens like most of the time when I have like a box full of pens and I just pick them out randomly on like, yeah yellow need that I'll use that and yeah like skin tone I use this or sometimes sometimes I use Stedla sometimes even use the ones I got from Raymond stationery and yeah ones that i don't use much which i have to say is the ones i got from wh smiths i don't use them that much so yeah that's probably it but the rest of the pens i use ah ink joy as well i don't really use them that much but i have them anyways it's just good to have a lot of pens like i said you guys have to buy these pens to know what's for you and also I've been getting recently I've been asked a lot like how do you draw without the guidelines like how do you draw without doing a pencil sketch first how do you get the proportions right uh, for, uh, my first answer to that is years of practice I've been doing this for a long time and the other answer is my Lego technique I break down the image that I'm drawing so much that it's not an image no more it's just components like people will probably see an eye all I see is the shadow in the eyeball then I see the eyeball and then I see the little blood shots and things coming out of the eyeball and then I see the shadow and then I see the eyelash and yeah so basically I'm building up piece by piece by piece like I said I've said in one of my videos before if you look at a whole image that went to, like a difficult image you'll be like oh this is too much to draw I can't do this but once you break it down so much that you just components you see and you start drawing next thing you know you have a whole image it takes practice of course but yeah like I've told you I've never, I never went to art school so 
that's probably one of the reasons why that's the way I draw because I never went to art school, never told me you had to sketch first in pencil before you went over it or yeah and obviously I used to sketch a lot of sketchbooks I used to sketch a lot of like comic books so I used to go to the library choose a comic book and I'm like oh I like this image let me draw this quick and the fact I was like let me draw this quick it wasn't like oh let me pencil sketch I gotta got get it right it's gotta be perfect no it was like let me try to get the image just yeah as accurate as I can and yeah from then on I've just been working on it like they say if you want to master something you have to put 10,000 hours into it then again I haven't mastered this yet as I think I obviously I think I can get better and it's gonna take me time but I love it so doesn't matter how long it takes me I'm willing to I'm willing to keep going and yeah my time's almost up <laughs> I was struggling I was like no 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 just do this quick get the hair in bit of blue bit of that sign quickly boom time's up yeah as you can see I'm, it's not that bad it's not that bad and then, then again maybe yeah that's it 10 minute challenge I don't know if you class this a fail let me know what you guys think so I guess that was harder than what I expected 10 minutes that's 10 times 1 that 1 minute challenge killed me and now I've gone and done this 10 minutes is not long and I went overboard I was like oh let me join Nathan Mandela South African colours I'll use 5 of the pens 5 different colours in 10 minutes what was I thinking what was I thinking oh here it is I don't know what to make of it. I, f I guess you can kind of tell it's Mandela. Nah, it's, it's, it's not good. It's not good. But yeah, that's my 10 minute challenge. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe to Demus Art. I'm Demus. I'm out. Peace.